United Airlines, Inc., commonly referred to as United, is a major American airline headquartered at Willis Tower in Chicago, Illinois. United operates a large domestic and international route network, with an extensive presence in the Asia-Pacific region. United is a founding member of the Star Alliance, the world's largest airline alliance with a total of 28 member airlines. Regional service is operated by independent carriers under the brand name United Express. United was established by the amalgamation of several airlines in the late 1920s, the oldest of these being Varney Airlines, which was founded in 1926. United has seven hubs, with Chicago O'Hare being its largest in terms of passengers carried and the number of departures. The company employs over 86,000 people. Through the airline's parent company, United Continental Holdings, it is publicly traded under NYSE, UAL with a market capitalization of over $21 billion as of January 2018. Topic History United traces its roots to Varney Airlines Val, which Walter Varney founded in 1926 in Boise, Idaho. Continental Airlines is the successor to Speed Lanes, which Varney had founded by 1932 and whose name changed to Varney Speed Lines in 1934. Val flew the first privately contracted air mail flight in the U.S. on April 6, 1926. In 1927, William Boeing founded Boeing Air Transport to operate air mail routes under contract with the United States Post Office Department. In 1929, Boeing merged his company with Pratt & Whitney to form the United Aircraft and Transport Corporation which then set about buying, in the space of just 28 months, Pacific Air Transport, Stout Air Services, VAL, and National Air Transport, as well as numerous equipment manufacturers at the same time. On March 28, 1931, UATC formed United Airlines, Inc. as a holding company for its airline subsidiaries. In late 2006, Continental Airlines and United had preliminary merger discussions. On April 16, 2010, those discussions resumed. The Board of Directors of Continental and UAL Corporation agreed on May 2, 2010, to combine operations, contingent upon shareholder and regulatory approval. On October 1, 2010, the UAL Corporation changed its name to United Continental Holdings, Inc. The carriers plan to begin merging their operations in 2011. The merged airline began operating under a single air operator's certificate from the Federal Aviation Administration on November 30, 2011. On March 3, 2012, United and Continental merged their passenger service systems, frequent flyer programs, and websites, which virtually eliminated the Continental brand with the exception of its logo. Topic: Destinations and hubs. Topic: Destinations. United operates to 231 destinations and 125 international destinations in 48 countries across five continents. Topic Hubs 
United currently operates seven hubs. Chicago O'Hare, United's largest hub and its hub for the Midwest. United flies approximately 36 million passengers through O'Hare every year, which is about 99,000 people per day, making it also the busiest airline at the airport. United's corporate headquarters are also in Chicago. Denver, United's hub for the central and western United States. In 2017, United flew approximately 25.9 million passengers through DIA or about 71,000 people per day. As of December 2017, United has about 42% of the market share at DIA making it the airport's largest airline. Houston Intercontinental, United's hub for the southern United States and primary gateway to Latin America. About 33.5 million passengers fly through Houston on United every year, or about 91,000 people per day. United currently has about 78% of the seat share at Bush, making it the airport's largest tenant. Los Angeles, United's secondary hub for the West Coast and gateway to Asia and Australia. About 10 million passengers fly through LAX on United every year, or about 28,000 people per day. United has 15% of the market share at LAX, making it the third biggest carrier at the airport. Newark, United's primary hub for the East Coast and a gateway to Europe, Latin America and Asia. About 28.5 million passengers fly on United through Newark every year, or about 78,000 people per day. United controls about 81% of the slots at Newark and carries about 68% of all passengers at the airport. United controls all of Terminal C and uses part of Terminal A for United Express flights. San Francisco, United's primary hub for the West Coast and gateway to Asia and Australia. About 22 million passengers pass through SFO every year on United, which is about 60,000 people per day. United has about 46% of the market share at San Francisco International, making it the biggest airline at the airport. Washington Dulles, United's secondary hub for the East Coast and gateway to Europe. United has about 65% of the market share at Washington Dulles, making it the largest airline at the airport. About 14 million passengers fly through Dulles every year on United, which is about 38,465 people per day. Alliance and codeshare agreements United Airlines is a member of the Star Alliance and has codeshare agreements with the following airlines. <laughs> Joint ventures In addition to the above codeshares, United has also entered into joint ventures with the following airlines Air Canada Air New Zealand All Nippon Airways Austrian Airlines Brussels Airlines Lufthansa Swiss International Airlines Topic Fleet 
As of March 2019, United Airlines operated a fleet of 778 aircraft, all Boeing and Airbus. On July 20, 2011, American Airlines announced an order for 460 narrowbody jets, including 260 Airbus A320s. The order broke Boeing's monopoly with the airline and forced Boeing into the re-engine 737 MAX. This sale included a most favored customer clause, which requires Airbus to refund to American any difference between the price paid by American and a lower price paid by United or another airline. This perpetuates United's having a Boeing skewed fleet. On September 22, 2012, United became the first American airline to take delivery of Boeing 787 aircraft. United also is the North American launch customer for the Boeing 787-9 and 787-10 aircraft, which are stretched versions of the base 787-8 model. In May 2018, United planned to replace its 51 Boeing 767s in a deal potentially worth $14 billion at list prices, and was in talks with both Airbus offering its A330neo, and Boeing its 787. United operates 128,757s and 767s, 77B757s and 51B767s, the second largest combined fleet after Delta Airlines with 206 127,757s and 79,767s and both has to replace them, like American to a lesser degree, they could be replaced by 737 MAX 10s, A321neos, Boeing NMAs, 787-8s or A330-800neos. topic United Polaris business These seats can be found on all Boeing 787 aircraft, Boeing 767 to 400 aircraft, Boeing 757 to 200 and select Boeing 777 to 200 -er aircraft. United Polaris business passengers check in at separate counters and can use priority security screening where available. On international flights, in-flight services include pre-departure beverages, table linens and multi-course meals designed in partnership with Charlie Trotter affiliated chefs via the airline's partnership with the Trotter Project. Passengers are also given priority with boarding and baggage handling and access to the United Polaris Lounge where available, as well as the United Club and partner airline lounges when traveling on international routes. All Polaris business seats recline 180 degrees into a full, flat bed. On select Boeing 777-200ER and Boeing 767-300ER aircraft, the seats alternate facing forward and backwards. On the Boeing 787, Boeing 767 to 400, Boeing 757 to 200, and select Boeing 767 to 300 -er and Boeing 777 to 200 -er aircraft, all seats face forward. Other domestic routes, especially hub-to-hub -hub service, and certain non 
United P. S. Transcontinental flights, regularly see internationally configured aircraft with United Polaris business seating for operational reasons such as transferring international aircraft from one hub to another. While the physical seats and entertainment are the same as on international flights, the service, catering and other amenities are the same as in domestic first class. Unlike routes marketed as United P. S., these flights are eligible for complementary premier upgrades. On June 2, 2016, United introduced its new, redesigned international business class seat that will replace current business class seats. The new United Polaris business seat will be featured on Airbus A350-900 Boeing 777-300ER, and Boeing 787-10 aircraft, and will be retrofitted later on Boeing 767, Boeing 777-200ER, and Boeing 787 aircraft. The Polaris seat converts into a 6 feet 6 inches flat bed in a 1-2-1 configuration or a 1-1-1 configuration, providing all aisle access for every seat. The seat boasts multiple storage areas, mood lighting, multiple charging ports, lumbar support, and improved dining and amenity services. Topic United Premium Plus United Premium Plus will be United's premium economy product to be installed through 2020 on wide body international aircraft. United Premium Plus seating will offer more space, comfort and amenities compared to United Economy or Economy Plus, and will offer upgraded dining on China dinnerware, free alcoholic beverages, a Saks Fifth Avenue blanket and pillow, an amenity kit and more. United expects the first aircraft with these seats to be flying by mid-2018, with the full service launch in 2019. During the interim period, United will likely sell these seats as part of Economy Plus. <laughs> United Premium Transcontinental Service United Premium Transcontinental Service is offered on transcontinental flights between Newark and Los Angeles or San Francisco and between Boston and San Francisco. Previously branded as P.S. Short for Premium Service. When initially launched in 2004, through 2017, these flights utilize primarily Boeing 757-200s, with 180 degrees flat Polaris business seats. The premium cabin also features international style catering, while all seats have access to in flight Wi Fi, on demand entertainment, and power outlets. Business class passengers also have access to the United Club at Newark, Boston, Los Angeles, and San Francisco. All premium transcontinental flights were moved from New York JFK to Newark Liberty Airport on October 25, 2015. These routes are not eligible for complementary premier upgrades, although MilagePlus members can upgrade using regional. Premier upgrades, global premier upgrades, or mileage plus award miles. Since July 2017, passengers in Economy Plus get a complimentary hot entree, dessert, fruit, pre arrival snack, and alcoholic beverages. Topic: 
United First and United Business United First is offered on all domestically configured aircraft. When such aircraft are used on international services such as services to Canada, Central America and the Caribbean destinations, this cabin is branded as United Business. United First seats on narrowbody aircraft have a 38-inch seat pitch, while United First seats on reconfigured domestic Boeing 777-200 aircraft feature fully flat bed seats. Passengers receive priority boarding and baggage handling, pre-departure beverages, complimentary meals and separate check-in desks. In 2015, United released its new domestic first-class seat design. The new leather seats feature cradling headrests, granite cocktail tables, and a tablet stand. These seats will debut on Airbus A319 and Airbus A320 aircraft, and will eventually be installed on all domestic aircraft. Economy Plus United Economy Plus is available on all aircraft. Economy Plus seats are located in the front few rows and exit rows of the Economy cabin and have 2 inches centimeters more recline and at least 5 to 6 inches to 15 centimeters of additional seat pitch totaling 4 to 7 inches 10 to 18 centimeters of recline aircraft dependent and 35 to 37 inches inches 89 to 94 centimeters of pitch economy plus is complimentary for all mileage plus premier members premier 1k platinum and gold members may select an economy plus seat when booking while silver members can select an economy plus seat at check in it can also be purchased depending upon availability by other passengers. Prior to the merger between United and Continental, United Airlines aircraft offered Economy Plus, while Continental did not. Following the merger, Economy Plus was rolled out across the combined fleet. Topic. Economy United Economy is available on all aircraft, and usually have a pitch of 31 inches 30 inches on aircraft refurbished with slimline seats, and 32 inches on Boeing 787s and a recline of 2 to 5 inches. All economy seats feature an adjustable headrest and some form of entertainment, ranging from AVOD, in-flight Wi-Fi, personal device entertainment, or overhead entertainment. Economy seats on Boeing 767, Boeing 777, Boeing 787, and select renovated 757 to 200 aircraft feature a personal 7-inch (18 cm) touchscreen television at the back of each seat with United Private screening. Select Boeing 757 to 300 and select Boeing 737 aircraft feature overhead entertainment. On Airbus A319, A320, select Boeing 737, select Boeing 757 to 300, select 757 to 200 and domestically configured Boeing 777 aircraft feature personal device entertainment and Wi-Fi. Other Boeing 737 and Boeing 757-300 aircraft feature DirecTV. 
In April 2018, United upgraded all aircraft with over 70 seats to include Wi Fi and personal device entertainment, even with DirecTV equipped. Food and snacks are available for purchase on domestic, Caribbean, and some Latin America flights. These include snacks, fresh meals, and snack boxes, depending on flight time and distance. Meals are complimentary on all other international flights. Only beverages are complimentary in economy on North America flights. Alcoholic beverages are available for purchase on North America flights, but are complimentary on long-haul international flights. On flights where meals are served, a cocktail snack with a beverage is served shortly after takeoff, followed by a main course, then dessert. Longer international flights feature a pre-arrival meal, which usually consists of a light breakfast or snack. United announced that it would offer free snacks on domestic, Caribbean, and Latin America flights, which began in February 2016. Basic economy Basic economy is available on select routes and in addition to standard fares. Intended to be United's lowest fare, basic economy fares provide most of the same in-flight services and amenities with standard United economy class. With basic economy, group, family seating, seat selection, upgrades and bringing full-sized carry-on bags are not allowed. When booking online, it is clearly marked, with the user prompt to confirm the user is booking a basic economy fare. Users also have the option to pay a small fee to upgrade their booking to regular economy. Also, certain mileage plus and premier member benefits are not available. Reward services Mileage Plus is the frequent flyer program for United Airlines. United Club is the airline lounge associated with United Airlines and United Express carriers. The United Club replaced the former United Red Carpet Club and Continental Airlines President's Club prior to United Airlines merger with Continental. Topic: Corporate Affairs. Topic: Headquarters. In 2007, United moved its headquarters and 350 top executives from Elk Grove Township, a suburb of Chicago, to 77 West Wacker Drive in the Chicago Loop after receiving $5.5 million in incentives from the city of Chicago. The Elk Grove campus became an operations center after several of United's offices in suburban Chicago were consolidated there. In 2010, United accepted the city of Chicago's offer of $35 million in incentives, including a $10 million grant, for United to move its remaining 2,500 employees out of Elk Grove Township to the Willis. Tower, formerly the Sears Tower, in the Chicago Loop. 
On May 31, 2012, United opened its operations center, which occupied 12 floors of the Willis Tower. In 2019, United renewed its lease, originally ending in 2028 and now set to expire in 2033, and it will construct a roof deck and a 30,000 square foot (2,800 square meters) dining hall on the fourth floor. topic other facilities The Elk Grove Township former headquarters campus was gradually annexed into the village of Mount Prospect and serves as an IT operations facility with a new 172,000 square foot 16,000 square meters data center constructed in 2013 United maintains a large presence in downtown Houston, having leased 225,000 square feet square meters of space seven floors for occupancy in late 2017. United has training facilities for its flight crews in Denver and Houston, a major aircraft maintenance center in San Francisco, and call centers in in Houston and Chicago. United formerly owned the Waikiki Seaside Hotel in Honolulu, Hawaii which was used by its flight crews until it was sold in February 2012. <laughs> Original brand image The pre-merger United logo, commonly nicknamed the Tulip, was developed in the early 1970s after the airline commissioned designer Saul Base to develop a new brand image. The logo represented the airline's monogram as well as a modernized version of the airline's shield logo which had been adopted in the 1930s, but fell out of use by the late 1960s. The ribbon-like rendering has also been said to symbolize the motion of flight. Marketing themes United's earliest slogan, "'The Main Line Airway' emphasized its signature New York-Chicago-San Francisco route, and was replaced in 1965 with, "'Fly the Friendly Skies'". The "'Friendly Skies' Tagline was in use until 1996 in its first iteration. The It's Time to Fly slogan was created in 2004. After the merger of United and Continental in October 2010, the slogan changed to Let's Fly Together until September 2013. On September 20, 2013, United announced a return of the Fly the Friendly Skies slogan in an ad campaign to start the following day. The resurrected slogan would be accompanied by the 1924 George Gershwin song, Rhapsody in Blue, as its theme song, and a voiceover provided by Matt Damon, United licensed its theme song, Rhapsody in Blue, from Gershwin's estate for $500,000 equivalent to $2,201,462 in 2018 in 1976. Rhapsody would have entered the public domain in 2000, but the Sonny Bono Copyright Term Extension Act of 1998 extended its copyright another 20 years. United announced that it would continue to use Rhapsody in Blue as its theme song following the merger with Continental. Topic. 
Environmental efforts Because over 98% of United's greenhouse gas emissions are from jet fuel, its environmental strategy has focused on operational fuel efficiency initiatives and investments in sustainably produced, low carbon alternative fuels. On August 23, 2011, United Continental Holdings, Inc. announced a conversion to paperless flight decks, and projected that by by the end of the year, 11,000 iPads will have been deployed to all United and Continental pilots. Each iPad, which weighs less than 1.5 pounds (0.68 kilograms), will replace approximately 38 pounds (17 kilograms) of paper operating manuals, navigation charts, reference handbooks, flight checklists, logbooks, and weather information. The green benefits include reductions in paper use, printing, and fuel consumption. On November 7, 2011, United flew the world's first commercial aviation flight on a microbially derived biofuel. The aircraft was fueled with 40% Salarjet, which is Salazyme's algae-derived renewable jet fuel, and 60% petroleum-derived jet fuel. This flight was operated by the Eco Skies Boeing 737 800 aircraft from Houston to Chicago O'Hare. On January 15, 2013, Aviation Partners Boeing, a joint venture between Aviation Partners Inc. and Boeing, announced that United had agreed to replace the blended winglets on its Boeing Next Generation 737. Seven aircraft with APB's split scimitar winglet SSW, significantly reducing drag. Once the SSWs are installed, it is estimated that APB's winglet technology will save United more than $250 million annually in fuel costs. On June 30, 2015, United invested $30 million in Fulcrum Bioenergy, an alternative fuel company. Fulcrum's alternative fuel is produced through a clean and efficient thermochemical process and reduces life cycle carbon emissions by more than 80%. As part of its investment, United will work with Fulcrum to develop up to five alternative fuel refineries near its U.S. hubs. These refineries will produce up to 180 million gallons of sustainable aviation alternative fuel per year, and United will have the opportunity to purchase at least 90 million gallons per year for a minimum of 10 years, making it the largest aviation alternative fuel commitment to date. On March 11, 2016, United became the first airline in the world to fly on commercial scale quantities of such fuels on a continuous basis, which were procured from Altair fuels. This fuel was produced from sustainable feedstocks such as non-edible natural oils and agricultural wastes, and is expected to provide a greater than 60% reduction in carbon dioxide emissions on a life cycle basis when compared to traditional jet fuel. United has agreed to purchase up to 15 million gallons of sustainable alternative fuel from Altair Fuels for use in Los Angeles over a three year period. In 2016, United began partnering with Clean the World to repurpose items from the airline's international premium class amenity kits and donate the hygiene products to those in critical need. Clean the World provides hygiene education and soap to promote handwashing, which helps prevent hygiene-related deaths. 
During the first year of this partnership, United expected to divert £60,000 of material that otherwise would have gone to landfills. In 2017, United started a partnership with Audubon International to protect raptors including hawks, ospreys, and owls in and around New York area airports and resettle the birds of prey at suitable golf course habitats where the species are more likely to thrive. <laughs> Labor All United Airlines pilots are represented by the Airline Pilots Association. A new joint collective bargaining agreement was ratified by a majority of the United, Continental pilots on December 15, 2012, which struck down a scope clause that disallowed Continental from outsourcing the flying of regional jets with 70 or more passenger seats. Animal transport In 2013, after pressure from PETA, United announced that it would no longer transport monkeys to laboratories. United was the last North American passenger airline to transport these animals to laboratories. United flies more animals and has longer flight stage length than any other U.S. airline, and accounted for one-third of animal deaths of U.S. airlines between 2012 and 2017, effective March 20, 2018. The PetSafe program was suspended with no new reservations for cargo transport of pets accepted. This came after United announced plans to mark pet carriers in the passenger cabin with bright tags and legislation was introduced in the United States House of Representatives and United States Senate banning the placement of pets in overhead compartments. This was in response to a dog death after a passenger placed it in the overhead compartment following flight attendant instructions, but the flight attendant denied knowing that the luggage contained a dog. <laughs> Cyber security United awarded airline miles as bug bounties", to hackers who could identify gaps in the carrier's web security. Two hackers have each been rewarded with one million mile of air travel as of July 15, 2015. This cyber security program was announced a few weeks before the company experienced two software glitches. The first incident delayed 150 United flights on June 2 due to a problem with its flight dispatching system. Six days later, United's reservation system delayed flights by not allowing passengers to check in. In addition to the bug bounty, Program. United said it tests systems internally and engages cybersecurity firms. Topic: Privacy concerns. In February 2019, privacy concerns arose after it emerged that United had installed cameras in some seat backs. United said that the cameras were not activated, but journalists reported that malicious hackers could still potentially enable the cameras to spy on passengers. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Accidents and incidents. Topic: 
United 3411. On the evening of April 9, 2017, a revenue passenger was forcibly removed by law enforcement from United Airlines Flight 3411 at Chicago O'Hare, bound for Louisville. United announced that it needed four seats for airline staff on the sold-out flight. When no passengers volunteered after being offered vouchers worth $800, United staff selected four passengers to leave. Three of them did so, but the fourth, a doctor named David Dow, declined as he said that he had patients to treat the following morning. He was pulled from his seat by Chicago Department of Aviation security officers and dragged by his arms down the aisle. Dow sustained a concussion, broken teeth, a broken nose, and other injuries. The incident was captured on smartphone cameras and posted on social media, triggering an angry public backlash. Afterwards, United's chief executive officer, Oscar Munoz, described Dow as "...disruptive and belligerent," apologized for "...re-accommodating," the paying customers, and defended and praised staff for "...following established procedures." He was widely criticized as "...tone-deaf." Munoz later issued a second statement calling what happened a "...truly horrific event," and accepting "...full responsibility," for it. After a lawsuit, Dow reached an undisclosed settlement with United and airport police. In the aftermath, United's board of directors decided that Munoz would not become its chairman and that executive compensation would be tied to customer satisfaction. Following this incident, passenger complaints increased by 70%. == See also Air transport in the United States Transportation in the United States <laughs>